Welcome to the Air Gun Show. In this week's episode, I'm going to be getting to grips with the brand new Daystate Alpha Wolf. But before that, I'm heading out on another brilliant night's ratting with the Sightmark Wraith Mini.
Well, as you can see, we're back out on the rats this evening. It's going pretty well. Um, first hour, and I reckon we've had about a dozen. It has just slowed down a little bit though, so we're just gonna head back to the car for a quick cup of tea. So it seems like a good idea now to just stop and have a bit of a chat about the kit, because it's not gonna matter if we make a bit of noise. Um, the gun that I'm using tonight is the Brocock Concept XR. It's 177, sub 12 foot pound, so perfect for using around the farm like this. Um, I think it's a great little gun. I really like the extendable butt section because it means I can get length of pull absolutely dead right to fit me. Um, the multi-shot magazine fed loading system is really helpful, especially in the dark for quick, easy reloading, the oversized drop down side lever handle. It, it's just great. I'm feeding it uh, Range Master Sovereign pellets tonight and as you can see, it's absolutely bang on. Uh, the night vision unit is the Sightmark Wraith Mini, which I've been using for a little while now and it's just absolutely fantastic. Apart from being tiny, it's got brilliant image quality and it's really, really simple to use, which really suits me down to a T. I don't want anything too complicated to be mucking about with when I'm shooting in the dark. Uh, it comes with mounts and it comes with an illuminator. I'm not gonna go through all of the details now, but if you wanna find out more about it, have a look at the Scott Country website. Right, like I say, we're gonna nip off for a cup of tea now, and then get back on it. Well, with a little flurry of activity, we settled back in, shot quite a few in quick succession. Had a bit of a longer wait for that one. Now, what I'm doing so far this evening is targeting quite a small area where the rats seem to have really set up in the clutter that's close to a cattle pen that's obviously giving them plenty of feed. Um, there's also, just about to see the edge of a grain store here too. Um, now, if it doesn't pick up again, what we can do is move on and try another area. But what I'm gonna do in the meantime is just attach the Sightmark um, power pack to the Wraith Mini because the battery level is just starting to flicker between yellow and red and I don't wanna run out of power.
was another close one there. Needed a fair bit of hold over now. Um, most of the rats that I'm shooting tonight are probably between only about eight and 20 meters from where I'm sat. And anything less than about 14 meters does need hold over with this setup, um, which is pretty typical. It's a little bit more pronounced in this instance though, because I've had to use adapters to get the Picatinny mount on the uh, Wraith Mini onto the dovetail rails on the um, Concept XR. It's, it's no great shakes. It's basically made the scope a little bit higher above the barrel than usual. Um, obviously you can work out all your holdover points anyway on the range, so as long as you know that, it makes no difference at all. It also means that my cheek's a little bit higher on the gun than normal, but shooting from a rested position like this, it really doesn't make any odds. Well, there's another one. The last hour has been really busy, but the battery's about to go on the main camera, so we're gonna to have to wrap it up here. And in all honesty, we've been on the farm for about five hours now, so I'm not gonna be sorry to turn in. It's been a great session though. We've shot a lot of rats. The Wraith has performed brilliantly. I really can't wait to get out with it again, and judging by the numbers of rats that we've seen tonight, that's not going to be very long. The Sightmark Wraith Mini doing another terrific job on the rats there. Next up, it's the Daystate Alpha Wolf. Now, here we have something very special. It's the Daystate Alpha Wolf. Launched today, it's the new leader of Daystate's Wolf Pack. 
Now, this remarkable air gun builds on the British gunmakers pioneering electronic tunability and takes it a stage further. So let's take a closer look at it. Any of you who have seen the Delta Wolf will see some familiar features here, but I do think that the Alpha Wolf has much more of its own look. Now, decked out in red and grey laminate for this launch edition, it really is a proper head turner. And even if it is a bit flash for your requirements or for your taste, there is no denying that it demands to be looked at. This is a real red Ferrari of an air gun. Apart from being eye-catching, the stock also serves as a very comfortable ambidextrous handle. Now, there's a generous thumb hole cutaway and that leads into a steep, chunky, nicely sculpted pistol grip which gives great trigger attack and features panels of nice, crisp stippling on both sides. The underside of the forend sweeps sufficiently far forward that I didn't find myself needing to grab at the bottle with my leading hand. Now it's also equipped with a 75mm Picatinny accessory rail that's perfectly positioned for bipod attachment. Design is simpler towards the rear of the stock and will look very familiar to Delta Wolf owners. Now the cheek piece which is curved for a nice comfortable contact point, sits on a dovetail rail that runs the entire length of the top section. Now it can slide forwards and backwards and even be reversed for left-handers. Now the butt section actually incorporates another 60 millimeter Picatinny accessory rail. And although it is fairly basic in design, there is some height adjustment incorporated within the butt pad. Now this gun is the FAC version, so it has the longer 23 inch barrel, making it 84 centimeters in total, and it weighs about 3.9 kilos. Now the Sub-12 has the shorter 17 inch barrel, so that makes for a shorter, lighter gun, obviously. Um, that said, this one still feels very compact. It's nicely balanced and feels really good in the shoulder. On the same long rail that holds the cheek support is a forward swept Picatinny scope rail. Now that also slides backwards and forwards, enabling you to set it up to give you perfect eye relief no matter what type of scope you choose to use. Now the scope does sit quite high above the barrel and that's fairly typical of bullpup design, but thankfully there is a level incorporated into the rear of that scope mount so you can have a quick look at the bubble to make sure that you aren't canting the gun as you line up for the shot. True to bullpup form, the barrel runs almost the entire length of the gun and the forward section is housed inside a chunky carbon shroud. Now, apart from looking pretty smart, that shroud does provide some sound suppression, but it also incorporates a thread for the attachment of an additional silencer if you really want to hush down the muzzle report. The Alpha Wolf is equipped with Daystate's ART barrel and it can be swapped quickly and easily. Owners have the option of switching between 177, 22, 25 and 30 calibers without any fancy tools or the help of a gunsmith. Now the system is the same as on the Delta Wolf and further enhances this gun's remarkable potential for tweaking and customization. This air gun is equipped with Daystate's gate loading self-indexing magazine. Now it holds 13 shots in 177, 11 in 22, 10 in 0.25 and 8 in 0.30. The Alpha Wolf also has a tandem system which doubles shot capacity by holding two mags at once. Now those magazines are pellet friendly and extremely reliable. The mag is driven by an excellent side lever mechanism. Now located just above the pistol grip, it's nicely positioned and can be reversed for left-handers. Now it's adorned with a really nice oversized drop-down handle, the operation of which quickly becomes a subconscious action. 
The two-stage electronic trigger is brilliant and boasts loads of adjustment. Now the match type blade can be adjusted for length of pull, height and angle. Now in terms of let off, you can adjust first stage weight and travel and second stage weight. Now I've been using Daystate's electronic triggers in their various guises for about 15 years and I think they're terrific. Now there's an AR type safety catch positioned just above and behind the trigger blade and there are switches on both sides of the gun to maintain that ambidextrous operation. Now it's in the safe position when the switch is horizontal and you simply flick it down when you're ready to take the shot. Of course, this gun's real party piece is its electronic tunability, which is carried out via the touchscreen on the butt section of the stock. Now, in normal use, it shows regulator pressure, your chosen mode setting, and a host of other information. And thanks to a chronograph housed inside that carbon barrel shroud, you can even have velocity displayed on the screen every time you take a shot. Unload the gun, remove the magazine and point it in a safe direction and you can make adjustments to the electronic settings after unlocking the menus by placing on the safety catch, opening the side lever and holding down the trigger for three seconds. Swipe to the left and you scroll to factory shot setting. In this mode, all of the complicated stuff has already been done for you. Stored profiles created by Daystate's research and development team ensure optimum performance. All you have to do is input your chosen caliber, barrel length and pellet weight and what muzzle velocity you want. You may need to adjust regulator pressure to get the most from the preset profiles. Now, the screen will tell you the pressure you need to aim for and you don't even need to use an Allen key to do the job. The adjustment is simply made by turning the knob above the neck of the bottle. Just remember to empty the regulator first if you're winding the pressure down. Other menus enable you to set the magazine counter, switch between day and night display modes, uh, set the auto power off time, switch the chrono on and off and change the orientation of the screen. If you want to take a really deep dive into the Alpha Wolf's electronic tuning, swipe past factory shot setting and choose advanced shot setting. Here you can set up your own profiles adjusting things such as voltage and hammer pulse length. Now you can save your own profiles and switch between them to suit different ammo, regulator pressures or calibers to get exactly the performance that you want. And the potential for fettling the Alpha Wolf doesn't end there. Daystate's digital transfer device, available as an extra, enables you to connect the gun to your computer and then Download and update firmware, create profile tables and even calibrate the pressure sensor and chronograph as well as a host of other features. The Alpha Wolf runs the latest version of Daystate's electronic tuning firmware, but Delta Wolf owners needn't feel left out as they can download it to their gun with the digital transfer device or they can go the whole hog and buy the Alpha stock kit, which includes the new stock, the scope mount, and the digital transfer device. Shooters who go for the sub 12 option won't have access to the same array of tunability because that would result in an air gun that requires a firearm certificate. Now they are, however, able to increase and decrease muzzle velocity in two and three percent increments while keeping within the law of course and that amounts to a heck of a lot more tweaking than you can do with most legal limit air guns. Being able to make so many changes to the Alpha Wolf's performance does make it pretty tricky to pin down shot count. 
However, the HUMA regulator and the gun's electronic brain do make it pretty efficient. And I reckon you can expect about 50 shots at 60 foot-pounds and around about 500 at sub-12 from a full 250 bar fill. Now the pressure in the main bottle is displayed on the gauge just in front of the trigger. Air filling is via an inlet with a Foster connector which is positioned in the underside of the stock just beneath that gauge. Now battery charging is via a supplied USB cable which plugs in at the rear of the thumb hole cutaway. Now in terms of battery runtime that can vary depending on numerous factors including how long you set the auto shutdown for but uh, I've now put more than a thousand shots through the test gun without needing to recharge the battery. The high power version of the Alpha Wolf has the potential for massive power output and I understand that 95 foot-pounds is currently possible in 0.30 caliber. Now if you use this air gun's tunability wisely you can strike a remarkable balance between raw power and smooth refinement. Uh, set up in 2.2 caliber I've been using Daystate Rangemaster King pellets the 25 gr uh, grain ones, running them at about 880 feet per second for around 43 foot-pounds and they shoot like a dream. The Alpha Wolf's electronic brain makes constant adjustments which combined with the Huma regulator makes for phenomenal consistency. Now even with a high power setup like this, uh, shot to shot variation is within 10 feet per second over a string of 10 shots. So consistency on a sub 12 model must be absolutely remarkable. Shooting from a bench with this one, it's virtually pellet on pellet at 30 meters and ragged thumbnail groups are pretty much the norm at 60 meters. Of course, the pinnacle of performance doesn't come cheap and the Alpha Wolf retails for 2,000 300 pounds in sub 12 and 2,500 for the high power version. Now, quite frankly, you have to expect to pay top whack if you want the absolute latest in technical development. And that is what this air gun gives you. Now, it's clearly a real head turner, but it has to be that electronic tunability and performance that really sets it apart. The Daystate Alpha Wolf is a remarkable shooting machine and, very importantly, this wolf is easy to tame. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for in this week's episode, but as ever we'll be back again in a fortnight and in the meantime you can keep up with me on Instagram at Matt Manning Outdoors. Thank you for watching and remember, if you aren't already a member of the BASC, it's time you joined the organisation that works to promote and protect your sport. Don't miss the award-winning Airgun Shooter magazine. It's packed with hunting features, reviews, tactics and insight to help you become an even more successful shooter. Get your copy today in shops or online.